All right, guys, welcome back. So let's start building the rest of the eyeball texture. To start with, uh, we have the vents and we can start doing, uh, uh, actually, I, I see some uh, some noise on it. Let's actually fix that real quick. I can do a blur um, to just, you know, go for the easy rot to, to blur it and then lower down the intensity. That should fix the problem. Um, maybe too much. <laughs> Alrighty, so lower that down even more. Okay, good enough. To me, I see something like that over there. I think that's one of the vents uh, on some of the, not this, not this one. Maybe it's in here, no, in here, no, here. Not sure which one it is. Uh, let's see. Uh, what I can do is just break the input. Yeah, it's that one. Uh, zero four. Uh, where is it then? Try to rotate. <laughs> I don't really see that. Uh, oh, it's over here. <laughs> so what I can do is basically try to go to the directional warp and not warping that much. Uh, Or is it in there in the default settings? That's not very good. Uh, so that means this one is having that problem. The original one shouldn't have that. So I'm gonna go here and lower down the intensity. Yeah, that's better now. Cool. All right. Um, yeah, one more thing we can do, of course, is we can actually try to have some bumpness uh, like generic bumpness around the eyeball. So to do that, I'm gonna create a shape node and the pattern will be paraboid. And then I'm gonna give it some noise on it. A uh, slope blur would be the one I go for. And we can try to use uh, poly noise to, to basically uh, make it looks like something like this, okay? And I can change the, the, the poly noise scale to give it a bigger or smaller detail. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, smaller detail. And here uh, it's also having this really cool ripple effect, but I think that's too much of a noise. So I can do a quick blur grayscale to fix that. Okay. And then afterwards, uh, I can then use that. Uh, I can create a uh, histogram wrench. So basically flatten it a little bit. Okay. And then also let's take a look at what we have. I'm gonna do a blend and blend those two together. Okay, this is what I have, which is too much of a noise. And then try to lower down the opacity of this guy so that we just have a little bit of the uneven results. Uh, here, maybe I can even blur this a bit more. Okay, yeah. So just have some subtle bumpness around. I don't want that to be happening in the middle. So to be able to achieve that, um, I'm gonna try to, you know what? I think instead of using slope blur, I can just use warp. Maybe that's a better solution. <laughs> let's take a look at, at that. So let's see. Yeah, the warp is actually doing better than that. Okay. Anyway, similar. Um, so uh, one thing I could do to get rid of the middle part uh, is I can do a blend node. Uh, I can blend this guy with a uniform color, uh, which is, uh, white in this case and the blurring the blurring of alpha will be some gradient so mm, let's try to use gradient radial and that goes to here so that way we're just making the middle part more like a white color instead of a, a the buffness all right so that way the middle the the, the pupil area or the, the iris area will not be having the buffness. 
so that we can get smoother result of there. All right, so that's going to be our final height map. Now afterwards, uh, I can also go ahead and start trying to do the color. Okay, so to do that, I need to create a transformation 2D to uh, basically connect just the veins, and then that's going to be moved down to the lane of the CD or color diffuse. And this guy will be pipe through a blend and we're using that as alpha and we're blending two colors one is red another one is um, uh, the white so let's do that so this is red and this is white okay and then the results goes to the base color okay so what we have now is red veins and white uh, bottom so uh, of course, the red color is a bit blurry now. That's because our alpha, which is basically the height map, is not um, having a strong enough contrast. So we can do create a histogram scan to enhance that. The position can go up. And you can see now we're getting a very clear um, visible like vein structure around it. And I can of course go to the blend and lower down the opacity so that it's not that much of a red. Okay. And then also for the rest of the, the color, it shouldn't be a pure white either. It should be something like a gradient also. So I'm gonna create a gradient again. <laughs> and that's gonna be used to blend colors. Um, you know what, let's try to just pipe it through a gradient uh, map here and see what we have. You can see what, what we're having for now in the default settings on the gradient map. I'm gonna go to the gradient, the gradient editor, click here to add the two pins. The first one should be a darker red and the frontal one should be not completely uh, white, so something like a grayish color. Maybe having slightly like yellowish tint. Okay. All right, we can of course remap these guys. So maybe I can extend the red forward a little bit more. <clears throat> and for the middle part, um, I believe there is going to be some uh, bluish color. So that's what I'm trying to add. It's not going to be that much of a blue either okay all right i'm gonna try to remap these guys a bit more all right so that's going to be the color um of course this is going to be up to you to make adjustment like here i can say okay i wanted to blur it a, a little bit before i pipe it through okay and then maybe I can even, uh, I think I'm having too much of a red extending out, so I need to remap these guys. No. Or I can even do this actually, let me control Z to go back. I can even just do this, and that's gonna allow me to remap it in whatever way I want. All right, and here for the red uh, then I can lower down the opacity a bit more. It's not gonna be that saturated. Uh, so this is gonna be the the map, okay? All right, uh, I think that's it actually for the vents. So let's move on to the next video and we can talk about the color of the iris. Okay, see you next time.